Hello, welcome to a Zatu live unboxing. Uh, for those who don't know, Zatu do back a lot of Kickstarters. This is one that's arrived with us, Fire Tower. Um, I, Nick from Board Deck and Dice, also got to play the prototype of this, and it's a fun take that game with quite a unique theme. It does play out quite abstractly, but uh, it works really well. And the player count is 2 to 4, 15 to 30 minutes. It says 14 plus, but you could play it with younger kids. Unusually for a game that comes into us, this one is not shrink wrapped. Uh, let's take a look at the back here. So you can see everything you get, a nice uh, back cover. And we're gonna open it up. We have some rules with some backer names on the back. Uh, nice short rules with kind of pictures. So on your turn, the fire will spread, determined by the wind direction. Um, and that, you don't do anything to determine that before you spread the fire. It's determined by uh, perhaps the other players on their go or at the other parts of the game. Uh, and then you also have a turn to play an action card from your hand or discard as many cards as you want and refill. Um, additionally, you may turn in your bucket, uh, which you will then never get back. And we have these bits which will go on the board. They, uh, these, show oh for variants okay so if you're playing with less players you can have more uh, space of the forest and then when someone goes out of the game there is player elimination but it's a very short game so it doesn't tend to matter when their watchtower is on fire so you're all in watchtowers and you're trying to be the last uh, person to have to abandon their watchtower due to the forest fire then we have a compass double-sided uh, this is just to remind you which direction is which the board itself Not a table hog at all, this one. So this is the eternal flame, this is how it starts. And depending on the wind direction, um, your, uh, yeah, there we go. Your, you will place one fire uh, token adjacent to either the eternal fly, flame or the wall of fire, trying to direct it to the other fire towers first and be the last person surviving. Uh, that's a plastic bag, a load of uh, massive orange gems which act as your fire here so there's loads of those and they're what go on the board and it looks really great as the uh, as the fire spreads across the board these uh, these make it look really good we have the dice this was a spinner in the prototype so I'm really pleased to see them uh, take it as a dice so when you need to change wind direction You'll just roll that and now the wind is going west. We have these purple tokens, our breaker tokens. They are made of wood and they basically give you chances of making walls that can't be burnt to try and protect yourself. Then we have an arrow, which I presume will go with this, just to indicate what the current direction is. It was west, wasn't it? So there, and I'm guessing this is a first player marker. Would be interesting to have all wooden tokens like this as your fire tokens as well, but these look great too. Uh, we have a bag, which I'm going to assume is for the fire tokens. It's nice to have. And then the cards. Can we? Uh, yeah. So this was one of the things, I think this was new uh, after the prototype. If your bucket is ever empty and there is fire in your tower, you can use this turn to discard a set of three water cards or three fire break cards to place two fire gems. Okay, so that gives you some extra action. Uh, the bucket there lets you remove three adjacent fire gems, very handy if I remember right. A champion card and then the action cards which let you do all sorts of things. Uh, you must play this card as soon as you draw it and then oh yeah the firestorm that's an optional or was an optional harsh rule that adds a bit of chaos to the game um, and then these ones let you do stuff with the fire to spread it in different ways and then these are the purple ones that let you put up defensive walls so in all this was a this was a really nice little abstract game with a unique theme the component quality is really good the cards are nice they have a finish on them uh, they've provided a bag, it takes up a small amount of room on the table, yet provides a 15 minute, half an hour 
uh, fun game. Uh, and although there is player elimination, it doesn't really matter when the game is this length. Check out Zatu tomorrow for this to be on our store live. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again next time.